Hello student, welcome to the lecture on logging, planning and design and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Discuss the development process, explain the feasibility study, discuss the operational criteria, describe the hotel design, explain the life cycle costing. Let's start with the concept of lodging planning and design. The hotel and catering industry is a rich field that is waiting to be harvested. The lodging industry is facing a market of tremendous potential beset on every side by rising costs and declining service, operating in an era of truly dynamic change. This is hoping for but not stimulating the technological and management breakthrough to solve the problems ahead. Successful future hotel managers will be those who anticipate change which are willing to accept challenges and are confident of succeeding. The authority of the hotel manager stems from competence, position, personality and character. The aspirants to the hotel and catering industry need to understand and develop management skills to cope with the versatile functions and competitiveness of today's hotel. In the past, education for the hotel manager was a rough experience. Most managers did not have the advantage of college institutional education as the demand for the hotel industry grew there was a great need for trained managers and departmental heads. The bulk of future management requirements of the hotel industry had to be met with graduates from hotel management institutes, universities, departments and food craft institutes who are educated and trained in the field of lintel management. Managing a hotel is a complex activity involving the application of a wide range of skills and a broad spectrum of knowledge to many types of business problems. It essentially deals with employees, guests, suppliers and other tradesmen who have the prime human relationship through which the hotel functions. The field of hotel management is interdisciplinary. It draws ideas from tourism, travel, economics, psychology, accounting, and finance, food technology, management, food chemistry, microbiology, physics, architecture, engineering, marketing, law, etc. From these disciplines are formulated approaches, system and analytical tools designed to make hotelering a satisfying experience for people when they are away from home. Culture a cultural lodge often focuses on native culture but might also offer activities such as berry picking or culturally related arts and crafts. Health This type of lodge promotes a healthy lifestyle and stress reduction. The food served is usually homegrown and organic and caters to a vegetarian or vegan diet. We could instruct guests in yoga or provide them with messages. They could also go on nature works. Let us now discuss the development process. The development of a hotel or logging property involves all work from concept to opening. Regardless of the size or type of property, the development process is a major undertaking. A myriad of interrelated processes must be considered and acted upon. While there are no guarantees in this business, strict attention to Daryl will greatly enhance the project's potential success. Financing the project a hotel can be financed through a commercial bank, a life insurance company, a credit company, a saving and loan association, a real estate investment trust or a pension fund. Many lenders perceive hotel or lodging projects as high risks, that is, that the possible return is less than the perceived risk. Lenders on hotel and lodging projects seek to minimize their risk by developing strong underwriting guidelines criteria that the lender follows in evaluating the project. While assessment of the risk associated with a hotel investment is complicated, categorizing them is easy. Location, improvements, management, ownership, economy and competitive environment are the major categories of risk. Facilities Develop lodge concept. We need to evaluate facilities and their suitability for use as a lodge. The guests will expect a private a bedroom and bathroom. At a lodge, they typically expect amenities that enhance relaxation and socializing. Common lodge amenities include a shared use dining area, library or sitting room and a living area with a large fireplace. Any shared use area should be large enough to seat all guests and even the lodge manager and employees at one time. 
The bedroom should be clean, neat and comfortable. Developing the site acquisition. The history of project development is littered with stories of hotels, motels, resorts and casinos that have been aborted because of exorbitant real estate costs or other problems encountered during the development process. One example is problems with land acquisition. A single landowner who may not even lift on the property can hold up an entire project if he or she is unwilling to accept an offer from the property. Because of such painful and expensive experiences, many logging companies have private individuals or holding companies make the purchases without mentioning the developer's name only after all of the land and or property has been acquired and in some cases only after the necessary governmental approvals have been granted do the companies announce the extent of the project. Design. The design of a new facility is a responsibility of an architectural firm that has been hired by the developer. Although large companies usually use architectural firms that have a natural reputation, they still employ local architects to review the plans in order to ensure compliance with local regulation. In any such projects, key consideration in the selection of the architectural team include prior experience with similar projects, familiarity with trends that may capture future demands or needs from the target market segments, a thorough understanding of the geographic and climatic condition that must be considered to maximize on construction and maintenance costs and the knowledge of cultural and historic factors that are characteristic of the locale surrounding the site which might be reflected in the construction and design. Construction a hotel company that is in a growth phase that is regularly developing new properties may have agreements with multiple contractors to accomplish the construction phase. There are numerous regulations involved in any major construction project. Many site and local governments require set aside that is a certain percentage of contracts or local business involvement must be set aside for companies run by women and minorities. The development company, the developer is the entrepreneur, the risk taker, who originates the idea for the hotel. Depending on the business structure selected, the developer often puts his or her personal wealth at risk when engaging in a hotel project. The developer, along with a small staff of people, networks with commercial real estate agents on the lookout for a suitable hotel site. Depending on the type of hotel to be developed, a site of at least two to four acres is required for a comparison an acre is roughly the size of a football field. This property must be zoned by the city for a hotel, be visible from a freeway or major street arterial and have city approval for such construction activities as curb cuts, left-hand turn lanes and delivery truck access. Now moving on to the next topic, we will study about the feasibility study. When the developer selects a site, a feasibility study is often commissioned to obtain an analysis of the site by an objective third party. Companies offer hotel feasibility studies for a fee and are experts in a particular market or developers may use the consulting group of one of the major public accounting firms. The company retained to do the feasibility study can spend up to several months gathering detailed data to see if, in their opinion, it makes economic sense to build the hotel. The site, proper zoning, size in square feet acres, visibility from materials, freeways, traffic counts or patterns, accessibility from street, freeways, airports, train station, etc., proximity to where potential guests live, travel or work, barriers that discourage competition coming into the market, if any, how adjacent property and businesses are utilized, master area development plans, local permitting process and the degree of difficulty for that particular city and impact fees charged by the city. The hotel market, the competitors, both existing and planned, historical occupancy of hotels in the area, historical average rate, proprietary data on area travel, identification of which hotel market segment to serve, full service, limited service, extended stay, luxury, mid-price, economy, and budget. Let us now know the meaning of operational criteria. We can describe operational criteria as budgeting in hotels. 
The management committee takes care of the budgeting in the hotel. All the department heads are responsible for creating the budget for their respective departments and send it to the financial controller for final approval. Budgeting is one of the main planning activities within the hotel. The budget provides an opportunity for taking a critical look on the costs incurred by the department, reviewing past planning and then taking appropriate steps to accomplish better outcomes in the next financial years. The budgets act as a guide that provides the manager with the standards by which they can measure the success of operation. A budget provides a financial framework within which all the department operates. The budget also acts as a guide as to which things need repair or replacement. It also helps to determine what valuable pieces of equipment may be purchased and to pinpoint the areas which needs to be emphasized for the coming year. It can be said that a budget is an instrument used by management for controlling and directing activities, especially purchasing activities. Types of budget. Budget may be of different kinds based on type of expenses involved, the departments and the flexibility of expenses. Capital budget. These allocate the use of capital assets that lifespan considerably in excess of one year. These are assets that are not normally used up in day-to-day -day operation. Example, furniture and fixture. Capital expenditure may include vacuum cleaners, machine. The hotel building itself also comes under capital assets. Operating budget. Operating expenditures are those costs that are incurred in order to generate revenue in normal course of doing business. The cost of all non-recycle inventory items such as cleaning and gas supply is also operation costs. Departmental budget. Each department of the hotel forwards a budget for its estimated expenses and revenue to the financial controller. For instance, there would be housekeeping budget, etc. Fixed budget. These budgets remain unchanged over a period of times and are not related to the level of revenues. Such budget includes a resource allocation for advertising and administration. Hotel design is responsible for more bold, colorful and imaginative creation than any other architectural genre. Never before has there been such amazing diversity, such a potpourri of styles or such extravagant playfulness. Today's hotel scene is like a box of chocolates full of delightful confections which present business, travelers and holiday makers alike with deliciously agonizing choices.
guest house. Guest house is a separate facility from a main lodge that is designed to provide accommodation for visitors. Larger than bed and breakfast accommodation, typically offering breakfast included in room rate but not licensed to serve alcoholic beverages. Guest houses range from low budget rooms to luxury apartments and tend to be like smaller hotels in larger cities. They are rated from 1 to 4 stars on the basic of the level of cleanliness, quality of food, hospitality and service and whether or not they offer attached bathrooms. Bar These food and beverage outlets deal with the alcoholic beverages only. They may be attached to a hotel or independently existing. They have certain specific hours of operation and the law strictly governs operation. There are hours of operation, inventory, location and client to whom they should serve, etc. are governed and regulated by the law enforcing agency. Room service. This food and beverage outlet is attached to a hotel and cutlers to the F and B requirements of the guests who are staying in the hotel only. These F and B outlets cannot independently exist. The service in room service is always in trays and trolleys. In a five-star hotel, the room service operates round the clock. The prices in the room service are generally more than the coffee shop. Pub. A pub generally independently exists, which serves only beer. The atmosphere in a pub is generally very informal. Most pubs have a very informal seating arrangement and generally designed to suit the likings and requirements of the youth. They also have specific hours of operation and the law like a bar governs operation. Books of inventory and accounts are maintained as per the government's regulation and are supposed to produce them before the concerned authority as and when required. Pastry shop. They may be attached to a hotel or may independently exist. They deal with only pastry or pastry related products. Those which are attached to hotels deal with pastry prepared in the same hotel. The ones which are not attached to hotels have their own bakery either in the same premises or outside the premises. Service is done across the counter. Very limited seating arrangement may be provided if space permits. Grill room. These kinds of hotels are generally attached to the star hotels, although they can be found independently existing also. They specialize in grills and barbecued items only. The kitchen is separated from the service area by a glass partition so that guests can see the chef preparing the food. This gives rise to impulse buying the guests are normally assured of better hygienic condition as they can see the actual food preparation. Nightclub They are generally attached to hotels and are often to members only. The operation starts late in the evenings and goes on till late in the night. Strips, cabarets and Floor shows, etc., are performed as a part of the entertainment. These are not seen in recognized star and commercial hotels. An elaborate menu is offered and the service is quite formal and extensive. It opens only for members. Alcohol is served to the members. Coffee bar. This is a very recent development and becoming very popular. These outlets deal with only coffee. They specialize in different types of coffee. Both alcoholic and non alcoholic coffees are served here. The alcoholic coffees are commonly called as specialty coffee. Hotel lobbies and launches. The architecture of professional hospitality explores the architectural significance of hotels throughout history and how the material construction has reflected and facilitated the social and cultural practices for which they are renowned. Including case studies addressing contemporary developments in hotel planning and design and illustrated throughout this volume is an innovative and insightful contribution to architectural and interior design literature. Back of the house areas. Back of house areas such as kitchen, service hallways, laundries, housekeeping, maintenance and refuse areas, well designed lighting helps to create a bright and hygienic atmosphere. Light levels should be bright enough to reveal dirt and debris and provide a safe environment anywhere dangerous equipment or implements are being used. Good lighting reduces accidents by revealing slippery floors, tripping hazards, or other potentially dangerous situations. Design. Lighting must eliminate shadows and provide illumination of vertical and horizontal surfaces for demanding manual tasks. Luminaries must be shielded or located so that there is no glaring light spill into adjacent dining areas when kitchen doors are open. High color rendering light colors are important for all food preparation tasks. Function areas. Following the main function area, rooms division, front office, room division. 
The majority of hotel's revenue, 60% are generated from room division department under the firm of room sales. This very department provides the services guests expect during the stay in the lodge. Generally, the rooms division department is typically composed of four different departments, reservation, housekeeping, uniform services and telephone. It is a brief description of the different departments composing the rooms division department along with their related main responsibilities. Front office. Sell guest rooms, register guests and design guest rooms. Coordinate guest services, provide information, maintain accurate room statistic and room key inventories, maintain guest account statements and complete proper financial settlements. Many people begin their career in the lodging industry in the front office, the nerve center of the hotel and the place where it is most important sales occur. With the growing importance of the limited service property, Moreover, the front office increases in prominence because in those properties, it is a critical area of technical knowledge. On the other hand, we should note that front office techniques can be mastered fairly quickly. Moreover, this still leaves a good many of the hotel's important operating function outside the front office yet to be learned. Although some executives have risen to general manager from the front office, most of them are found in small properties. If ambitions include advancement to general manager, we will want to think carefully about building on a successful front office experience by adding experience in another area. In a limited service property, this should probably be marketing. Sales and marketing. A typical hotel should usually have sales and marketing division. However, if the staff size, volume business, hotel size, expected group arrivals is low enough, the hotel might have marketing Staff placed under the reservation department, example no need for and sales and marketing division. Building analysis based on the life cycle costs of major design decision are recognized as an efficient economic tools for developers. Obviously when a structure is built and quickly sold or when a management company, not the owner is responsible for its operation, life cycle costs are less likely to be considered. A hotel project is developed through the combined labors not only of the architect and engineer but also of the developer, owner, technical consultants and future operating person. The value each member of the team places on the me cycle cost approach is determined by the benefit he will derive from future saving. Now in the end let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Lodges are often larger than bed and breakfast but smaller than most hotels. A large stay can be combined with the purchase of a package experience or hotel can be financed through a commercial bank, a life insurance company, a credit company, a saving and loan association, a real estate investment trust or a pension fund. The developer is the entrepreneur, the risk taker who originates the idea for the hotel. Food and beverage outlets are the areas in a hotel where food and beverage are sold to both in-house and outside guests. Back of house areas such as kitchen, service hallways, laundries, housekeeping, maintenance and refuse areas, well-designed lighting helps to create a bright and hygienic atmosphere.